Welcome to another spirit-filled message on Christocentric message. If you're new to this channel, I would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video. As well, I would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth, it's going to bless you. Your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then God is going to visit your home. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. Let's pray for the sick now. I want to pray for you. If you came with someone who is sick, I'd like you to just lay your hands on them. And if you are the one who is sick, lay your hands. You came with a photo, a point of contact. Please go ahead. Father, in the name of Jesus, my God, such a strong anointing to heal, to correct. Some of you are receiving new body parts. New body parts. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now I pray every spirit that is back of any infirmity, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, I command that you give way now. I command that you give way now. In the name of Jesus, for everyone who is sick, be healed now. Be healed now. Migraine headaches, be healed now. Cancer, be healed now. HIV, be healed now. Every blood condition, be healed now. Bone conditions, for those of you who could not walk, in the name of Jesus, I command that devil to give way that you begin to walk right now. In the name of Jesus, every deaf ear be open now. In the name of Jesus, every blind eye, partial blindness, total blindness, in the name of Jesus, begin to see now. Every growth in your body, breast lump, fibroids, I command them to disappear now. The Lord is healing someone with a right shoulder pain. Someone with a right shoulder pain. Be healed in the name of Jesus. There's someone, I don't know if it's a swelling or something you have at the back of your neck. Just right here. In the name of Jesus, I command it to disappear right now. There's someone, your stomach is bloated. Uh, uh, this is some kind of, I don't know what sickness that is, but... It's led to a physical bloating of your stomach. In the name of Jesus, I command that bloating to go down now. Chest pain, be healed now. Peptic ulcer, be healed now. Hepatitis, be healed now. I'm hearing, I'm hearing the word meningitis. In the name of Jesus, be healed now. There is a man, your challenge is a reproductive challenge. And this is something that has been verified by the doctors. This is, this has, this is, has affected you and you're unable, your wife is unable to give birth because of that. I'm praying for you right now. The power of God is coming upon your body this moment. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus there's someone just your your lower abdominal region you have something that looks like a lymph node but it has been there for a long time very painful in the name of jesus i command that devil to go now the lord is showing me someone who throws up what you eat when you eat you throw it up again you eat you throw it up again it's like food does not stay in your body in the name of jesus be healed right now be healed right now someone's right ear i don't know if it's that you couldn't hear completely or partially but that right ear is open now in the name of jesus the lord is showing me a woman i think this is a mother from abel kuta from abel kuta who is sick the power of god is touching that woman right now in the name of jesus christ 
in the name of Jesus Christ I'm seeing the name Manchester and the Lord is saying there is a woman who is emaciating following this program right now from Manchester the devil is afflicting your body this is a demonic thing in the name of Jesus I declare be healed right now I'm seeing a woman lift up a boy that looks like between five or six just lift the child you are watching through a smart TV and that child has autism you are lifting the child as a point of contact in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God I declare healing for that child right now healing for that child right now healing for that child right now there is a gentleman you are you, you are you are a gentleman but when you go to ease yourself you are passing out blood you are passing out blood the power of God is touching you right now in the name of Jesus Christ I declare healing for you by the power of the Holy Spirit there is somebody outside you had voices this is where it started you had voices like people were talking and from that day there has been a noise in your ears even when there is silence you know it's just a sound a discomforting sound it's a demonic thing in the name of Jesus be healed right now be healed right now now whether I mention your case or not anyone here with a medical report I change that report right now I change that report right now anybody holding the photo of a loved one you are trusting God for them there are people who are connecting from national hospital connecting from federal medical centers other private hospitals in the name of Jesus be healed right now in the name of Jesus be healed right now be healed right now someone you could not move your fist there's a part of your fist there's there's severe pain in the name of Jesus you can move it right now um, there is a child again is something that is, is 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 it looks like a genital issue with that child I don't know if the child is here but I'm seeing that there's something that needs to be corrected with that child in the name of Jesus Christ I don't know what it may be but I declare that that demonic thing corrected right now I declare it corrected right now I declare it corrected right now now the Lord is showing me a condition I don't know what that is but there's someone tears just starts coming out of your eyes you know how maybe if you are peeling onion and then that that irritation it's not like you are crying maybe under the anointing this is just it's a very embarrassing thing the Lord is healing you right now and then the Lord is healing a gentleman the Lord is showing me whether it is cold or heat you are always sweating your hands are always wet you can't hold something dry for it's almost embarrassing like water literally coming out of your body I don't know if there's a medical condition for that but in the name of Jesus wherever you are I bring you life and healing right now life and healing right now whether I mention your case or not be healed in Jesus name be healed in Jesus name now here's what I want you to do my God there's such there are several miracles I'm seeing in the spirit I want you to check yourself right now everywhere outside everywhere inside check yourself now begin to do what you could not do the moment you find out that a miracle has happened to you young old male female I like you to boldly leave your seat and come and stand at my left or right those who are coming from outside and from all the overflows if it's to testify please allow them so that they come miracles are already happening hallelujah miracles are happening please make your way come and stand they'll confirm you and then we'll take some testimonies only 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 are you Lord only holy holy are you Lord the saints and the angels bow the redeemed worship you now holy 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 
please let them come our medical people are here to help do the verifications outside there is a woman you don't stand easily until someone assists you you are outside try standing up now you will find out that you don't need an assistance the power of god has taught you right now i don't know who that person is there is a woman stand up right now and in the name of jesus i declare healing for you please line all the people protocol help them so that they line up we'll just check them and we'll take a few testimonies in the name of jesus christ and there's someone you came here with pain the lord is showing me your molar the right part of your molar severe pain very severe looks like i don't know if it's that there is a hole in it or something of that sort but right now the power of god is touching you i want you to check it you will find out that a miracle has happened to you let's celebrate those who are coming jesus is touching people it's called a miracle service okay oh come lay down the burdens you have carried for in the sanctuary now before we start taking the testimonies um you don't have to stand but i want you to shout the name jesus you see sometimes let me teach you something about the way the spirit of god operates in our lives sometimes god would lead you to do things that don't make any sense at all you understand and there is a difference between you just acting in the flesh it will be very clear that you are acting in the flesh but when it is by the spirit you will see that in that which does not make sense the glory of god is even revealed and breathed because i thought that i would begin to pray you know minister deliverance for people those who are oppressed so that we we no, 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 please be careful. Just let them move back a bit. When I ask, just they can move back for what I'm about to say now. Now, the Lord just asked me that you sit down, but then I'm going to lead you to shout Jesus. And right from your seated position, there are many people that several spirits that have oppressed them just like that. I want, those are the people I want you to pick them out and bring them here right now why these things happen honestly sometimes it is a is a sign and a wonder even for me now our ushers are there well trained but you know that there's a crowd of people especially for outside people are limited so please do well if you need to assist them if someone is under the anointing close to you being delivered please do well you can help them if the ushers are exhausted you can do well and help to bring the people so we're going to pray just one shout of that name jesus and I'm seeing the power of God bringing deliverance. Altars and yokes and all kinds of things while we verify the testimonies. And by the way, as the power of God touches you, those online, let us know what Jesus is doing. Our medical people are here, well trained to be able to collate the testimonies and then we'll take them right now. Are you ready? At the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus. Father, you have given me this instruction. There are people who are under demonic yokes some came here for the first time some have been here and it seems like the devil and all kinds of activities of witchcraft have tied you but as you shout that name jesus in the name of jesus as it was for ezekiel he said i prophesied as i was commanded let your deliverance come right now are you ready at the count of three while you are seated one two three shout jesus the name of Jesus Christ I command those devils release their destinies now release their destinies now please bring them up by the power that raised Christ from the dead outside inside every spirit in the name of Jesus release families release destinies release destinies hallelujah hallelujah now the lord is speaking something very interesting there is a spirit that has been released that is breaking homes breaking homes that altar in the name of jesus any family please bring them out in the name of jesus 
I declare those yokes be broken now. Be broken now. Be broken now. Be broken now. And then shall I get Barakoski Adabala? God is opening my eyes, and I'm seeing someone is like you are inside a cave. There is nothing that you do that finds visibility. Right now, the power of God is coming on you. I don't know where they are, but right now, in the name of Jesus, I declare, come out of that cave now. Spiritually, come out of that cave now. Come out of that cave now. Outside, inside, come out of that demonic cave now. The Lord is showing me the number 24 and I'm seeing people but in the realm of the spirit I'm not seeing a face just the parts of the body but no face something has covered your glory so that nobody is able to see what you carry right now the power of God is coming on I unfail you right now I unfail you right now help them Please bring them out. I unveil you right now by the Spirit of God. Everything that has covered your glory in the name of Jesus. Let it be unveiled now. 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 Unveil now. Hallelujah. Bring them out. There is someone God is visiting. You are from Emo State. I just saw I M O Emo. I don't know where that person is, but in the name of Jesus, may the power of God right now, that which was done by altars, tying you down, that nobody in your family rises. I declare, be free now. 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 the spirit of delay here it comes i see an anointing i'm seeing like rain like rain spirits that have tied down people in one position many of you this will come upon you right now father everyone who has been kept at the same position right now in jesus name may that fire come upon you please bring them out go forward go forward go forward i break the chains i release you i release your children i release your family go forward in the name of jesus hallelujah we'll take the testimony shortly the lord is showing me a family you came here there is a spirit the moment you get married you start going down financially and in every state it's not just you it has happened also to the people around and the lord is saying i should rebuke that spirit it's like the moment marriage happens the people start going down father i don't know where they are but if there is anyone under the sound of my voice under that influence in the name of jesus at the count of three i declare your deliverance right now one two three be set free now be set free now be set free now the lord is showing me a contractor you are a contractor you do contracts your money has been tied down it has been a battle from one place i'm seeing you moving from office to office pleading with people to release your resources in the name of jesus if you believe this prayer i'm praying for you my god will surprise you in jesus name <laughs> hallelujah dead people dead people people who have gone visiting you again and disturbing you we're not talking of the spirits of just men made perfect 
the spirit of Hades, the dead. I'm praying right now. There's someone every night as you sleep, you keep seeing dead people. I declare the power of God is coming upon you for the sake of you and your family. Father, let there be deliverance now. Deliverance now. Untimely death. Manifestations of darkness. Tying down your life. Please open your mouth in one minute and begin to declare. I declare that I'm loose from everything that has tied me down by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Is someone praying? I declare I, I stand fast in the liberty wherewith Christ has set me free. I declare that I go forward. I advance in the spirit. I advance financially, pray maritally, in my career, in ministry. Someone is praying. Hallelujah. Who is Deborah, but they call you Deborah? I think your name is Deborah, but they call you Deborah. Please, let's hurry up because we have to pray. Make sure that you, you, you know what I'm saying before you come here. Deborah, that's what they call you. Who is that? I'm still praying. There are still a few people who will join them and I'll pray for them at once. Deborah, who is that person? It's all right. I will still pray for you. The Lord wants to open because I'm seeing a door that is opening. And the Lord is saying I should pray. And I saw that name, Deborah. D-E-B-R-A. Maybe it's a short form for Deborah. I do not know. Can I pray for you? Father, in Jesus' name, you have spoken over these people. Let the anointing that makes for open doors right now, let that anointing rest upon you. Receive it right now. Let that anointing rest. Some of you, it will not be up to one month. It will not be up to one month. God will open strange doors for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, it will not be up to one month. I declare those doors open now. Open now. Open now. Open now. Open now. Open now. Open now, open now, open now, in the name of Jesus Christ. Help them, the ones who came late. Don't worry, you are in an atmosphere of the anointing. I stretch my hands towards you. Those who came after I'm done with the prayer, don't worry. The power of God is setting you free right now. Let that grace, that mantle for open doors for a new season, let it rest upon you now. Take that grace now. Take that grace now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now please hear me. This may not be for everybody, but the Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing people climb a ladder. I don't know who that person is. That means God is saying the current season you are in, that it has come to an end. I prophesy to you in the name of Jesus, everybody who should go to the next level by the power that raised Christ from the dead, may the unction, the anointing that makes for that new level, receive abakata, abakata, help them please. Receive it now. Receive it now. You have come past this mountain long enough. I command rise to a new level, rise to a new season, rise to a new season in the name of Jesus Christ. For the Bible says the path of the just is as a shining light. Is that in your Bible? And hear me, if there is any barrier stopping you from rising higher, I decree and declare, let it clear out of the way now. hallelujah now the lord is revealing something interesting for me i just had the word laughter and the power of god is coming upon people literally they're going to begin to laugh literally i decree and declare right now the bible says the shout of joy and victory 
shall not depart from the tents of the righteous therefore i declare welcome to a season of laughter welcome to a season of laughter financial laughter marital laughter career laughter oh weeping and just for a night but i prophesy to you your morning has come with it comes laughter sarah said and all who hear this will laugh with me i decree and declare again i said to you laughter even by the spirit of the living god please don't think you are just receiving mere words no there is something coming upon your life the days of crying has come to an end the days of crying has come to an end now hear me please the lord is asking me to speak to someone every time good things happen you are afraid of them because it does not last whether it's good relationships or finances is like nothing has longevity in your hand the spirit that is behind it that makes your laughter and your joy short-lived in the name of jesus i command that it gives way now that it gives way now hallelujah i'm here to pray that prayer but there are two people you are in business you are in business but for a season it looks like things have not worked right now two of them it may be more but what god says to one he says to all but i'm seeing two people they will start running out now by the anointing please hold them it's a grace for speed that is coming upon them i speak over your business help them in the name of jesus the son of the living god i don't know what it is that you do i use this once as a point of contact everything that has pegged your feet at the same level right now speed take that grace right now take that grace right now speed in the name of jesus christ no retrogression no stagnancy by the power that raised christ from the dead hallelujah the lord is opening my eyes and i'm seeing someone you came with an x-ray report an x-ray like a, an x-ray is if there's if you find that person let me speak over that person so that we can take a few testimonies all of you who are in front here in the name of jesus the spirits of oppression i declare by the power that raised christ from the dead you let them go right now go now release their destinies now release their families now release their businesses now in the name of jesus christ out of them now out of them now for upon mount zion the bible declares there shall be liberty and holiness and the sons of jacob shall possess their possessions i declare be free now hallelujah can i declare over open doors before we sit down he said i am he that was dead but now is alive and he holds the key of david there is a mystery in the spirit called the key of david he says with that key he opens a door that no man can shut i want to pray for you in the name of jesus there are doors that men can shut it depends on who is opening it i decree and declare anyone standing before a closed door please hear me in the name of jesus between august and september i prophesy to you enter your open doors enter that open door i speak to that door a father be open be open be open be open be open You are the one with them what is that x-ray x-ray 
your own? He just, he just woke up and couldn't walk again. The boy woke up and couldn't walk Doctor, again. What happened to him? Nothing. Doctor said nothing. They said his uh, uh, SS, but several days has proven How many? How, how long is this? This is two years now and he's 13 years. He just woke up and couldn't walk? Yes, sir. You see? These are the kinds of demonic things we are talking about. How does someone just wake up in the morning, no sign, no symptom, and he cannot walk? Madam, you believe God will give your son yes, a miracle? What's his name? His name is Kevin. Kevin. Yes, sir. In the name of Jesus, we agree as the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. Over Kevin. That demonic spirit that has paralyzed him. I declare liberty for him right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing this gentleman hold, um, what's that? X-ray X-ray report. report. What happened to you? I had an um, injury at the back, the lower back, at the neck. And then I also have issues here. Medically confirmed? Yes, sir. What did they say is wrong with you? They said it's the spondylosis. Lumbar spondylosis. Yes, sir. And then I, I have... Yes. I have, I have issues with my... I said heart and the liver. You have issues with your heart. Where are you coming from? From Joss. Joss? Yes, sir. Oh, dear. Madam, how about you? The same thing, sir. Cervical spondylitis. Look at my x-ray. How long? I was just diagnosed last month. I was just having pain here down to my hands. And it was affecting my blood pressure and everything. What couldn't you do, my friend? I can't walk long distance. And then sometimes I have pain and then dizziness. Dizziness? I, yes, if I move my neck. Do you believe in Jesus? Very well, sir. You believe you can be healed? Yes, sir. Place your hand there. Madam, place your own hand on your chest. Hallelujah. You have won the victory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You have won it all for me. Death could not hold you down. Hallelujah. My friend, look at me. In the name of Jesus Christ, don't, don't put yourself under pressure, eh? My sister, God is removing something out of your body. I'm looking at you and I'm seeing something coming out. I command that devil to leave now. Out of her now. In the name of Jesus. Madam, look at me. Just do what I ask you to do. Run. Go. Try jumping. Survivors, don't worry, don't be afraid. You see what God is doing now. Hallelujah. Sir, look at me. How long has this been? For four months now. Four months. Move your neck. Be careful. Move it. Move it. Move it. Look at me. My friend. Run. Go. Look at the guy is smiling. Move your neck. Try jumping. Try jumping. Ah. I don't know why the remaining of you are here, but then we'll pray. Please make sure it's just the case that. What, 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 what's, why is she here? What's wrong with her? Huh? Chronic kidney problem, sir. Cancer? Kidney problem. Kidney. kidney. Problem. Yes, oh dear. Okay, that's all right. Please, until I mention the case, don't come out, eh? But what is her name? Tell me talk where you do. Let her talk. Talk where you do. How long has it been, my dear? Two months now. The doctor that doesn't sleep. Place your hand there. Let me pray for you. Since you took that step of faith to come. Do you know? Let me tell you the truth. 
when miracles happen to people eh, don't just rejoice put yourself in their shoes then you will understand the power of a genuine miracle a young lady like this now getting into trouble already what did you say is the problem again chronic kidney problem sir chronic kidney failure like the end stage you see what's that father in the name of jesus look at me tell me talk where is her name tell me talk where you believe in jesus yes sir huh yes, look sir. at me jesus for your glory i pray in the name of jesus that the spirit that is back of this in jesus name i decree and declare i cause the spirit behind it let her go now out of her now out now in the name of jesus christ what couldn't she do um she should be experiencing um, swelling of the feet and she can't walk for a long okay time. look at me my dear gently huh move yes. look and leave my brother leave look to jesus christ and leave is recorded in his word hallelujah it is only that you look look what has happened to this lady do you know let me tell you this believe me when i tell you most medical conditions are spirits hallelujah my dear look at me move your legs don't worry don't be afraid just look at me move your legs help her move your legs she's under the anointing but be careful with her in the name of jesus christ i declare this kidney thing it goes permanently by the power of the holy spirit in the name of jesus christ are we ready for a few testimonies sorry sirs for keeping you waiting yes sir okay let's sit and take a few testimonies while that is happening um, if you have not written your prayer request, let me pray for these ones. Let me pray for these ones very quickly who are lifting this. God bless you, sir. You check yourself, you can testify. Father, what this this is x-ray? Okay, for you. How about you? For you, you are standing for someone for you. Okay, let me pray for them. For you, okay. I'll pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for all these people. In the name of Jesus, visit them right now. Turn their situations around. I don't know what the problem is, but in Jesus' name, let the power of God touch you supernaturally. Be healed completely in the name of Jesus. I rebuke that sickness. I rebuke that infirmity. Help the gentleman, eh? In the name of Jesus Christ, for the gentleman, for you and for this gentleman, be healed in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Please. All right, praise God. Apostle, you gave a word of knowledge. Yes, sir. The bloated tummy. The bloated tummy. Yes. Okay, very quickly. Yes, yeah, I came into this service with um, a bloated tummy. I was eating and it was not digesting. So I came in, I could not even pray. But when you began to worship, sing worship, I felt something leave me and I'm free. Completely now. Yes, sir. I decree and declare it never returns to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. Very quickly, please arrange the people already so that we'll have... A person, she had an accident two years ago, like half of her body was paralyzed. Two years ago? Yes. She lost... That very month, I lost my marriage. That parent, that you lost your parents and you had an accident. That very day. Since then, I've been bringing out fluid. It's only me that know what is going on. You've been on. taking out fluid. I've been bringing a cutter from the side, one side. Okay. And last week, I saw my mom came coming to carry me. I said, no. Yesterday, she came. What she happened to you now? Everything is She's healed now. Completely. Check she yourself. Was, she was to go for tests tomorrow. Look at this. To go for National Hospital tomorrow. Oh, you were to go to National Hospital. Yes, for brain and... In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare, even as God has touched you, it remains permanent right now. In Jesus' name. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, Pastor Jason. So, Apostle, he came in here. We have quite a number of people that were healed from right shoulder. You wow. You spoke about that. We yes. Knowledge. I can see the man. Yes. Please talk, sir. What happened to you? Yes, I in Klaba, Cross River State. Okay. Uh, after I traveled to my village in Ninja State and buried my mother, I went home. I went to do my work there. Then you went to bury your mother in the village. In the, in the village, State. yes. Mm -hmm. Then I I traveled back to Kilaba. 
that was where the, the incident happened. Just like that, my, I couldn't understand myself. Let me like pray that. for someone. If there's anybody who programs anything, the village is not a no-go area. And the village is not anybody's personal property. The earth is the Lord's and his fullness thereof. Anybody who programs evil for you, that as you go for whatever and you are returning, may their evil rest upon them. I say it again. May their evil rest upon them. People cannot be threatened. You have the liberty to go anywhere. Nobody can put any demonic rule and say, don't come to any village. By whose order? Anybody exchanging the life of young people with their own life to prolong them. In the name of Jesus, they have met their end this night. Is the reason why there's no development in many villages there are people who want to go and develop the place and these wicked people just sit down and destroy people in the name of don't come don't what nonsense is that is the village not part of the earth he went to bury his innocent mother and you know there are many of these kinds of issues where people innocently go some return back they go down financially everybody is shaking everybody is greeting and some of these people are people you even go out of your way to help anybody who took your name anywhere i'm praying for you now this night in the name of jesus both the altar the habalis and the initiator may the earth open and swallow them Hallelujah. What happened to you now, sir? As I said, then I, I from, I from um, my very my brother mother, I went back. Yes. To and what happened this night, sir? No, right now that my. Praise God. Walk. Go ahead. Walk, sir. Look at this is somebody who came. You, you you can see this kind of situation. Sign the name of Jesus. What God has begun, I declare perfection of it, supernaturally, in Jesus' name. Yes, sir. I play soccer. I'm a football. As loud as you can, my friend, and straight to the point. Okay. Um, sometimes last year I fell down in the field. And I, you fell down in the field. Yeah, okay. And I dislocated my left shoulder. And right now, yes, let him go. Take it easy. And sir. since then, I've been I've been in pains. You've so, been in pains. And what happened right now? The pain has disappeared. Check yourself. He plays football. You are serious about your football? Ah, this man plays football truly. Eh? <laughs> Hallelujah. I didn't need to ask him again. He answered me with that press up. Hallelujah. May God increase you, eh? Connect you to serious people who will take you higher. In Jesus' name. Yes, please. Go I ahead. I had an accident on 6th of, July, on 6th of June 2020. Yep. Yes, ma'am. And they, they can't knock me down. And since then, I've been having pain. I cannot raise my hand like this. I cannot raise my hand. Oh, and right now. Immediately, you made mention of right hand. Yes. Hand. I, look at this she had accident and right now let the devil see you that's how you wave poverty goodbye that's how you wave sickness goodbye that's how you wave every demonic thing goodbye in the name of jesus christ god bless you yes please a testimony from singapore you made mention of from singapore. singapore of veronica okay now, now she called the pr line of the lower abdominal pain that you gave the word of knowledge about now she's sealed by the power of god okay yes daddy she's um she said she's been suffering from severe lower back pain and cervical spondylitis and she's not been able to stand up without any and right assistance. now right now she called the phone all the way from said, singapore yes yeah, we give jesus praise and in the name of jesus we declare perfection for her yes please difficulty in swallowing for the past one week these are mothers difficulty in swallowing yes sir how long my dear last week in the name of jesus we declare liberty for you amen. and blessings for your mom in jesus name we pray amen. amen god bless you please you gave word of knowledge of someone throwing up she yes. came and she was even admitted in the in the medical stand or okay. now the throwing up has stopped and then she said she had an arrow attack last week that her neck just became still she couldn't turn her neck but now in the name of jesus christ now, she, it will never return to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, Pastor Jakes, please. 
I, I had a seizure, seizure attack some years ago. Seizure? Yeah, and I fell and I had issues with my hand. And when you mentioned it, the, the pain just... Like just, that. Just, Lift it up now. In the name of Jesus Christ, it will never return to you again amen. by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen and amen. Yes. Is someone yes, celebrating what Jesus is doing? Yes, sir. Quite interesting. Yes. So this has actually been tested by the medical team. Yes. So had um, I was diagnosed of ulcer a few weeks ago. Uh huh. And I started taking medication three days ago, and um, I took this morning's dose. After coming, when I came here, I said I wasn't going to take it again. I mm. didn't take for afternoon. I didn't take for this night. After the test, it came out negative. Negative completely. Yes. In the name of Jesus Christ. It will remain permanent in your life in Jesus' name. Yes, Benga. Three months shoulder in the pain. Three months shoulder pain. Yes. In Jesus' name, you are completely delivered. Yes, sir. Regurgitation. He regurgitates. He eats and then bring it out through the cord. He said he was having it, the symptom when he was in service. Wow. How long has this been, my friend? It has been for a very long time. You eat and you regurgitate. I regurgitate, but I take it to be a normal thing. But there have no, been, no, been, been a time, Apostle Meshoni, but the things still continue. But this evening, while in the service, I was just coming from a, a party. So I was just feeling the, the symptoms. I would uh, regurgitate. And uh, I was just hiding my face so that my... In the name of Jesus, down. it will not return to you again. Yeah. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen and amen. God bless you. Yes. You Let's gave a you. word of knowledge of noise in the head. In the air for the noise in the one air. Year, it has ceased now. God has completely yes, in the name of Jesus, it never returns to you again Amen. by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. Let's take one or two. I had a dream on a Friday night. Um, I saw a snake, a long snake, brown, tiny but very long, entering my private part. Yes, and I woke up. I was very terrified. I was very scared. What happened as a result? I walk, I walk up my husband. I walk, I walk my husband up. So we prayed. I told him I could not sleep. Um, immediately I begin to feel movement in my body. Yesterday, Physica physically. Yes. Yesterday morning when I woke up, my stomach was very bloated, very big, and something was moving in my stomach. I was very uncomfortable. I'm a lively person. I'm outspoken. Yes. But my husband noticed that I was, I was just quiet. And what happened to you now? Now, when I came, I was busy spitting. I was just throwing spit up and down. So I have to go and buy sweet. Yes. All of a sudden, it has ceased. Completely. My, yes, my stomach has gone down. Lay your hands on your stomach. I decree and declare in Jesus' name, this freedom remains permanent. No, no demonic occurrence, whether through the dream realm or wherever, you are set free and free forever. In Jesus' name. Yes, please. Apostle, God is doing fantastic things online. Online? Yes, please follow carefully. Yes. Okay, Daddy, we have a couple of testimonies online. We have a brother who had a hole in his teeth and then got filled up supernaturally. Hole in his teeth? Yes, sir. Make sure he verifies it medically. Go ahead. Yes, Praise sir. God and for that miracle. Yes. You gave a word of knowledge concerning abnormal sweating. Yes. And then it stopped completely. Completely. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And then we have one, Temitope from Lagos. Um, also pain disappeared completely the in the world. name of Jesus yes. Christ praise the name of the Lord now we may not be able to have all the testimonies let's have just maybe two to each and then we we'll just pray generally while that is happening please make sure you forward your prayer request how many of you still have your prayer request lift it up now please bring it out pass it to the last person by your left or right and then the ushers will quickly pick it, especially for overflow three. There are so many of, I mean, the I said overflow three, the overflow outside. Let's have, let's have, um, please gather it very, very quickly so that we can come and pray. I love to pray on the request because that is the most accurate representation of your desires. Yes, sir. Um, on Saturday, morning after a midnight prayer yes I had a confrontation in the dream okay so with a woman so I, god helped me with her so since then when i woke up i started feeling pain at my right chest okay so i went to meet the doctor yesterday he said i should do an x-ray so i'm to come back on tuesday for the report so i was upstairs there yes and you gave a word of knowledge about the chest pain immediately i felt a cold sensation from the from your head down and it's gone in jesus name it remains permanent even by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen and amen. 
Yes. Are we done? Okay. Yes, please. Oh dear. Now I love children. Let me hear this boy. Apostle, he said he fell up. He, he fell down? Yes, but his head was swollen and the power of God touched him. The pain is gone. My friend. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are healed, eh? And in Jesus' name, may you not only be healed, you will carry the anointing to heal nations. You don't know if it's your own child, he will heal one day. Say amen, oh. Yeah. Hallelujah. God bless him, Jesus' name. Yes, please. She used to have defect in her eyes that she sees someone double. She sees oh, she and I when, see. When this, she came here, let, let us speak. Give it to her. Straight to the point. Amen. Good evening. Um, Straight to well, God okay. bless you. Straight to the point. Let's let's go. Okay, so um, I came to service this evening. I have been using these glasses um since last year in November. Okay. So when I came to service, I was sitting up there. This is actually my first time here. I was practically dragged to this place. And uh, I was sitting up there and I was looking at the man of God and I was seeing him double from up there. But I said, no, I'm not going to wear these glasses. I'm going to um, keep these glasses aside and focus on the And what happened now? And the, just because of the prayer, I, I, I noticed that I can see you like... Clearly. Like, yes, just Come one. on now, give and, Jesus and praise. my glass broke and my glasses Oh, broke. your glasses broke. My glass broke because of the prayer. Yes, my glasses broke. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, your miracle is permanent. In Jesus' name. Let's have the Let last one there. And association symptoms healed by the power of God. In the name of Jesus. May God bless you. Okay, let's have the oh, last one. You yes, sir. Word of knowledge. Yes, um, you said um, there's someone that couldn't make his feast. So as soon as I, as the one word went out, I tried to make my feast and I noticed my hand is normal now. Normal. Yes. For these and all the other testimonies in the name of Jesus, we declare that your healings remain permanent and for those who didn't have an opportunity to testify in jesus name i decree and declare that your healing your miracles remain permanent in jesus name i pray while we're collating the prayer request can you stand on your feet let me give you two or three prayer points and then we'll pray and i speak over your life and we're done don't be tired of praying prayer point number one are you ready to pray say in the name of jesus please shout it loud and clear in the name of jesus i decree and declare that from this day forward I make reasonable progress go ahead and pray open your mouth and begin to pray by the power of the Holy Spirit someone is praying everywhere in the name of Jesus I make reasonable progress reasonable progress the Bible says he went forward he advanced until the Philistines envied him he began to prosper and to go forward in the name of jesus from this day someone pray as you are declaring so it will become in your life i make progress koinonia makes progress in the name of jesus supernatural progress by the power of the holy spirit hallelujah Shout it, say in the name of Jesus. Everything required for my excelling in this new season, I receive it by faith. Go ahead and pray. Everything needed connections, resources, spiritual intelligence, access to the hearts of kings. Everything required for your excelling. Someone pray. Everything required. Man of God, pray. Politician, pray. Businessman, pray. And God is able to make all grace abound towards you so that ye, having sufficiency in all things, that you will abound in every good work. Embrantes kote barakosh kalivre kete baska sibata elikatos kafrandas kabaragatos kalibrende kete. I decree and declare in the name of Jesus Christ, everything needed for my excelling in this new season. Prabada kabaratos kiata balasiata. Hallelujah. Are you tired of praying? Say in the name of Jesus. 
every person and every platform anointed to announce me in this season i decree and declare it must work in my favor go ahead and pray every person and every platform they will walk in my favor announcing the good tidings of jesus the bible says when jesus was born there were there was a star that announced his arrival every person and every platform that should announce you announce your business announce the investment of the spirit upon your life to your world activates them by prayer in the name of jesus christ hallelujah say in the name of jesus i decree and declare that the lord of peace himself will give me peace always and by all means lift your voice and pray the giver of peace trouble is far from your life someone is declaring as we get into the ember months trouble is far from my life the god of peace himself is granting me peace always Shakrakete pakatoshka leka pranda kaparuskia embrekete katoshka leka praska begavas peace in the name of Jesus final prayer point and then we'll pray over your request hallelujah are you ready to pray say in the name of Jesus the mantle for favor rest upon my life the mantle of honor rest upon my life go ahead and pray decree and declare the mantle for favor the mantle of honor rest upon my life someone is praying rest upon my life favor and honor rest upon my life for the sake of his majesty rest upon my life rest upon my life favor honor at the gates favor honor with gatekeepers with captains of industry in politics in government in career in ministry someone pray is a serious prayer point the mantle for favor the mantle of honor rest upon my life for in jesus name we pray please stretch your hands towards the altar and begin to declare over the request that you wrote now there are things you may not be able to tell everybody but if you are here to write you're here to bring your requ your request please bring it let's have anyone's left please stretch your hands and begin to declare the bible says in philippians chapter 4 and verse 6 it says be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your request be made known unto god someone is praying go ahead and declare go ahead and declare in the name of jesus go ahead and declare someone is praying people are already receiving answers in the name of jesus christ go ahead and declare over this prayer request i decree and declare by the power of the holy spirit someone is praying this captivity comes to an end this captivity comes to an end this captivity comes to an end for someone declare prophetically i close every negative door i open every door blessing favor lifting in the name of jesus please if, if there are still some let's let's have them so that we can pray don't be tired you are declaring by miracle service september you are only returning with thanksgiving for in jesus name we pray shout a loud amen i decree and declare by the power of the holy spirit every pharaoh and every king that must send for you even if they are hedonistic 
the king that sent for joseph was not a believing king but he still sent for him i don't care where the quotas are provided it is directed by god whoever must send for you for your rising i declare they send for you now everything you have started and yet not been able to complete by the power that raised christ from the dead we are getting into september september is the ninth month i decree and declare may this be the month where you give birth supernaturally that which has been locked up in your spirit in the name of jesus let me pray for everyone in ministry every pastor everyone serving the lord anything that represents shame and reproach in your ministry in the name of jesus it dies permanently now i feel a strong stirring in my spirit to pray over families in the name of jesus i bow my knees to the lord of heaven any family here going through storms any family here that has been asking lord where are you in the name of jesus may my god and your god answer speedily answer speedily whoever has interrupted your helper and stopped them from coming to you in the name of jesus anyone who has come in the spirit of sambalat and tobias to stop what you are building from finishing i clear them out of the way now and whoever said where is your god may your testimony this week be the answer may your testimony this week be the answer in the mighty name of jesus christ hallelujah let me pray for those who are in abuja here but i'm going to pray prophetically for everyone listen to me god is the god of portions any family that is yet to be structurally established i'm praying for you i want you to believe it in the name of jesus the resources and the access for god to give you your own place he called it rehoboth he said for god has given my I, my own space where your land is in this city or in this nation and where the resources for god to honor you with structural establishment to give you the focus to live destiny with dignity i release that grace upon you now everyone jobless by miracle service september return with your employment letter every business that is dying or going down you come back to life now hear me in the name of jesus even though i know that around our nation things seem very tight when you look at things physically it looks like things are not lining up but i want to place a mark of exemption upon you i decree and declare please hear me by the power that raised christ from the dead when men say there is a casting down let it be minus you i say it again let it be minus you in the name of jesus christ any demonic programming to kidnap you or any of your loved one please receive this prayer whether by road whether in the air as we get into this ember month by the power that raised christ from the dead for as long as you're on the road no devil will stop you to oppress you <laughs> hallelujah the poverty in the land seems to have multiplied evil people now boggle people's homes boggle people's cars and steal things sometimes petty things because they feel they want to make ends meet in the name of jesus i decree and declare your home your children and all who are connected to you they are safe even as we enter the ember months in the name of jesus in one minute i know that our time is gone 
but as a family of faith i want us to pray for nigeria in one minute lord step in over this nation go ahead and pray in one minute this is the only nation that we have i'd like you to pray father in the name of jesus the national anthem says guide our leaders right help our youth the truth to know in love and honesty to grow go ahead and pray father in the name of jesus we decree and declare let things work in this nation pray for our universities pray for the asu strike pray for the security situation pray for the election coming pray for everything lord establish your purposes in this nation we cry and we decree and declare that the reign of darkness comes to an end harassment of lives and properties come to an end we take responsibility as the church of the lord jesus christ and we contribute our quota to pray for our nation we pray for the peace of nigeria we prosper because we love it in the name of jesus christ in jesus name i pray in jesus name i pray finally let me pray over your spiritual life we are first a people who are spiritual and our work with god our spiritual understanding the character of the christ in us is priority no matter what else we have if our spirituality is troubled then we're in trouble are we together let me remind you that in order of priority your relationship with god your passion for his presence your passion for prayer your passion for fasting your passion for the word of god your passion for the house of god these are biblical indices that measure your spiritual health and if at any point in your life these indices fall or falter it means something is wrong in as much as i've spoken over every other area of your life it is important that your spiritual fire remains strong that you are spiritually vibrant and alive are we together whether you buy cars or houses if you are going down spiritually you are not growing in knowledge this is why week after week we gather every meeting is a miracle service but we dedicate time the last um, sunday of every month to be able to minister to the needs of people but it is important that you submit yourself to gain thorough spiritual understanding i pray for you the fire that is upon your altar will not go down i pray for you anyone suffering from spiritual laziness you've seen that the last one month the last few weeks your prayer life has gone down no grace to fast no grace to pray in the name of jesus i declare be free from that oppression i pray for you from tonight as you open your bible let light come from scripture in the name of jesus christ and I pray for you, may your life, even your ministry, let it be characterized with signs and wonders. In the name of Jesus Christ. Any wrong relationship around your life that is impeding your spiritual growth, I cut you away from it permanently. And I, I reintroduce godly people into your life. In the name of Jesus. I decree and declare, beginning from tonight, let it be a week of supernatural encounters angelic encounters encounters with jesus christ encounters with the light from the word For hello beloved in christ we hope this message was a blessing to you i would want you to do something for us if you are new here kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.